So this project has been a long time coming. Hopefully you can tell by my surroundings that this year's theme is Egyptian. My goal is to recreate the inside of King Tut's tomb inside my studio here. It's actually going to be two parts. There's going to be the inside part here and then the outside. The whole idea for this year's Egyptian theme haunt is it's like a mysterious sideshow that just set up for one night only. So outside there'll be like this big sideshow circus banner that says like the mysteries of Egypt this way, like an introduction to what's inside. And then when you come inside, you come inside what is King Tut's tomb. And there'll be like a mummy in here, sarcophagus, all kinds of Egyptian type stuff. And hopefully it'll be creepy when I get done with it. So in this video, I want to make that banner, that sideshow circus style banner to put outside. Let me give you an idea what I'm talking about. I've actually made these banners before. I made them... I don't know, maybe about four or five years ago for a Halloween party, a carnival type Halloween party that Aaron and I had. And I made four of them. So let me just show you a couple of them to give you an idea of what I want to make. This is what I want to create, something like this. Only I want to put something that has to do with ancient Egyptian. I'm thinking maybe like a couple of pyramids or a mummy or a combination of something like that. I'm not exactly sure yet. But as far as the material, this is painter's cloth. And you can pick it up at any hardware store, pick it up on Amazon. And this particular piece of fabric here, the painter's cloth, is 4x4. Four the one that I purchased for the project that I'm doing now is five by five, so it would be a little bit bigger. Now, as far as the paint, when I made this one, I used craft paint, I used some spray paint, I used some latex house paint. I used just about anything I could find that I had available. So I'll probably do the same thing when I make this new banner. Before I start drawing and painting on my canvas, I want to go through and I want to reinforce the corners. Now, when I originally made this banner here and the ones that I have, I simply made a hole in each corner and popped a little grommet in it. And it worked fine for a while, but eventually the rope that held the banners in place, they were really tight and they popped these grommets out on some of my banners and also ripped some of the canvas. So to prevent that, I want to reinforce each corner on my canvas. Now to do that, I bought this canvas bag, paid a couple dollars for it. I originally was going to just buy like a half yard of cloth, but it was cheaper to buy this canvas bag. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut some squares. And then I have some fabric glue that I'm going to glue the fabric to each corner just to reinforce it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use grommets again or if I'm just going to cut like a little hole and like do like a whip stitch, like a buttonhole. I'm not sure yet, but that'll be the first step. Having already made a few of these banners, I had the benefit of knowing what works and what doesn't. So after I reinforce the corners of my painter's canvas cloth, I'm going to paint the entire piece of canvas, probably just one side, with some old latex paint. And this is just like a interior latex paint that's beige, a whitish color. Now, what that will do is that will kind of seal up all the little pores on the canvas cloth, and it will make the surface a lot smoother so that when I go to draw my image on the canvas and paint, it will just look nicer. One other thing I should tell you 
If you're going to use the painter's cloth like I'm using here for this project, go ahead and purchase a piece of painter's cloth that's the exact size you want your finished banner to be. That way the edges are nice and sealed. They're all hemmed. If you buy a larger piece of painter's cloth and you have to cut it down or you have like an old piece of painter's cloth that you're going to cut down, you'll have to seal these edges up to keep them from fraying and falling apart. So if you buy one that's the exact size that you're going to make your banner, you won't have to worry about that. It'll be nice and sealed, hemmed, and it'll look nice. There's no turning back now. I'm not so sure about this stuff. It's awful runny. Doesn't really seem like glue. I do have a sewing machine, so I thought about stitching this on originally, but I thought this would be quicker and easier. Besides, the sewing machine's up in the attic. I didn't feel like getting it or trying to find it. I've got all four corners of the painter's cloth reinforced. The glue that I used worked out really well. I picked this up on Amazon. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the video description. I guess the next step is to go ahead and paint this canvas. And I'm going to use some of that old latex paint that I showed you earlier in the video. And I'll probably just put two coats on it and I'm only going to do one side, the side that I'm going to be painting all the detail on. I've got my painter's cloth all ready to go. If you recall, I went ahead and reinforced the four corners, and then I put some latex paint over the entire canvas, and I put two coats on it. Now, it's been about three weeks since I've done anything to this, so this is all good and dry and ready to go. I've got a blank canvas to work with. Now, as far as what I'm going to put on here, the design, I've been thinking, and this is what I wanna do. I think at the top, I'm going to put the word pharaoh or pharaohs, and then at the bottom, I'm going to put tomb. And then in the center here, on the entire image, I think I'm going to put like one or two big pyramids. And then in the very center, I'm going to put the death mask of King Tut. That's the plan. Now, to do that, I wanna to try to do it easy. I don't wanna spend another three weeks trying to get this done. 
So I'm going to use some various techniques to make the process go quicker. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a lot of painter's tape to kind of tape off my designs. For the lettering, ferro, ferros, and tomb, I'm going to use stencils. For the death mask, I'm going to take a piece of poster board and I'm going to cut out the outline of King Tut's death mask. Not all the details, just kind of the outline. And then I'll put this on here and then I'll spray paint around it. When I lift this up, I'll have the outline of King Tut's death mask. And then I can go back and add all the detail. Now, as far as the paint I'm going to use, I'm going to use a lot of various colors of spray paint. And then I'll use some craft paint because I've got more colors of that to do some of the highlights and outlines and so forth. And then for the final detail, I have markers, black markers, and I have some of this uh, paint, like a painter's marker. This is like a gold color and this is a blue color. So I think between using all of uh, this stuff here, I think it'll go pretty quick. It's just a matter of putting the stuff on there and doing it. So I think the best way to show you what I'm gonna do is just to start doing it and then I'll let the video roll and you'll see what I'm doing. And then as I make progress on it, I'll show you. And then hopefully when it's all done, it'll look nice, hopefully. And uh, we'll talk about it. So don't go anywhere. Oh, one other thing. As you can tell, I haven't put the little grommets in the corners yet. I'll do that later. Just didn't feel like doing it. That'll probably be the last thing I do. So I just have some tape up there and I have it nailed to the wall just to show you. Now I'll probably take this outside when I do all my painting. I just wanted to hang it up on the wall to, so I could talk about it and show you. I've got the first part done. And so what I did was I went ahead and measured off like where I want the seam at, like centered it. And it says pharaohs. And then I took my painter's tape Another quality piece done, at least I think so. I think it turned out really nice. I'm happy with it.
It only took me about a month to do it. Of course, I didn't work on it every day, usually just on the weekends. But I really like it, and I think it'll look great outside. Again, this is going to be like that sideshow banner that you find like at a carnival. And this will be on the outside of the studio, kind of just letting people know that, hey, this is here, it's going to be pretty neat, come inside. Now, I may go back and add a few designs on each side here, at least I thought about it, not sure yet. I thought about putting like an ink on each side, maybe like gold, blue, black. Then again, I might just leave it alone. I think it looks good the way it is. And as you can see, I did go ahead and, and put the grommets in each, each section there. And that was kind of hard because there was like three layers of canvas there, but I was able to uh, make the holes and put the grommets in. So hopefully that'll be uh, nice and secure this time and they won't like tear apart on me in case it gets windy or just from the stress of the rope holding the grommets. But I think that's going to do this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like this type of content, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel. I have lots of uh, Egyptian videos, Egyptian themed haunt videos that I'm doing right now. So if you found this one interesting, be sure to check out the rest of them. And I also got this piece here I just finished up. So until I see you on the next video, see you later.